Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and I want to give you a bit more of an update and uh, just a few more clips of gameplay of the Shrapnel Shot Doomfletch Pathfinder. So as I mentioned, the previous Doomfletch character I made was an Inquisitor. This time around, it's a Pathfinder, and it feels a lot nicer to map with because, um, well, there's a lot of perks that go into being a Pathfinder as opposed to an Inquisitor, whereas Inquisitor's, Inquisitor is mostly just, you know, raw damage. And this character, this build has no real shortage of damage, if built the way we've currently built it and it's just faster more reliable and uh, still has really good damage so it feels like a much more satisfying character to play at this stage shrapnel shot not um, as good for clear speed as something like a lightning arrow or tornado shot or an ice shot but it is a very nice skill nonetheless and hits really hard meaning you more or less never have to use two skills it's almost always shrapnel shot in um, your AOE and then shrapnel shot for your single target so it is pretty comfortable to map with even if it's not the fastest thing in the world and it's more than fast enough for my current playstyle or desires. Haven't done too much single target tests. These two breach bosses are all I've really done at this stage. Um, in the next day or two, I'll definitely be doing all the guardians and all that and see how we go. I definitely was planning to do them today, but then I got caught up running a few of these shaped strands um, that I'm showing right now where I had a you know, headhunter sort of mod or a nemesis um, league stone that was stealing uh, nemesis mods, I guess. And that's what's happening right here. We have uh, quite a few shroud walkers stolen. It was some of the most insane bullshit I've ever had to experience or play through. And it was pretty nuts, especially all the proximity shields. My character really doesn't handle this too well, as you can watch my life bar go up and down. It was an absolute mess. So I did this for a good hour or two, and it was quite a lot of fun. But this is exactly where you really just can hardly justify being a life build. I've been strongly thinking about uh, converting to CI on this character, and that's because there's no real way for me to hit higher than, you know, five, six, 7k life at the absolute most uh, with a combs and even that just won't be anywhere near as good as a CI version on this sort of map and uh, this sort of content. So while I do think I'll be able to clear everything on life and I might still clear everything on life version of the build, uh, there's a good chance I'll at least try out CI just to see exactly how much better it is. And I'll go over the passive tree real quick if you're interested in that. The one that I've built for the CI version of the character because I do think it's pretty much just a superior version across the board. It just means you're gonna have to balance a few ES items and um, balance our Wise Oak resists all over again. This has been uh, some of the funnest shit out there though. Double Beyond, uh, Shape Shaw, bunch of sextants with the Nemesis League Stone that lets you steal mods. And just a quick uh, example of why we have loot filters these days. This was after you know, the end of one of the maps. And uh, it's just crazy how much loot drops these days with the double beyond, with the map quantities, with the breaches, and it damn near crashed me, definitely uh, slowed me down a bit. And even my loot filter, which is the semi-strict never sync version, doesn't clean up anywhere near enough if you're gonna be continuously doing this type of content. So I just wanted to go over a little bit of an update of what the character is doing at the moment. Uh, it's 89, and I did just then hit a six link uh, at the start of this level, I believe, which allowed me to add increased crit strikes into the um, setup, which gives me now 53 crit unbuffed and something like 70 crit buffed. So with the diamond flask, it's very reliable crit and uh, much better for our clear speed. And then besides that, we're still using increased area, GMP, faster attacks, shrapnel shot itself, and WED. So we take out uh, increased area and GMP for slower proj and early focus at the moment. And I'm still playing around with how that's going to go on single target. Now, besides that, there's not really too much else to mention. The gear is still more or less just tailored towards getting the fizz, the elemental, and all of that. And if I respec CI, I'm very largely going to have to re-gear just about everything everything. Um, the boots, I will mention, they're pretty shit. But the reason we're doing this is because we were trying to 
use our boots specifically to cap our resists uh, with the wise oak flask across the board to be triple over capped at the same amount. So currently I'm at 186, 186, 126. When I have my Vinktar and wise oak up, uh, which is pretty much 100% of the time, I'm now at triple 228, meaning I get the benefit of the wise oak for penetration and damage reduction. You can see the effect is right here. We currently have 10, 10, and 10 for fire, cold, and lightning. Uh, you put pop both of those and now we're at 34 34 and 46 because our vinctars also has 10 lightning pen so it becomes really worthwhile if you can balance it and uh, it was a bit of a headache trying to figure out exactly what kind of boots i needed and what i needed to craft and uncraft on my helm and other sorts of pieces but it becomes very worth it if you can do it so it's not something i look forward to if i go ci because uh that's just going to be another headache altogether now, I did want to show you guys the CI tree real quick because uh, it's fairly similar to the life base tree, but obviously doesn't go down here for life reasons. And uh, the claw nodes over here that you convert into bow nodes really are quite nice these days because they mean you don't have to go over here and waste a bunch of points. So you can see that between this one and the current Doom Fletch, if you hit skill tree comparison uh, between those two, there's across the board all we really do is basically lose the life nodes a little bit of attack speed and accuracy here proj and um accuracy there but besides that we don't really lose anything on the build uh we do gain i think a socket over here and also a socket up here and also flask nodes and crit multi all in all it should be a just pure upgrade for the build because um those perks are a lot nicer than these over here and then we'll have much more es to play with so our life pool or effective health pool should be quite a bit nicer and um i think it's worth doing and it's definitely something i wanted to explore at this point i just wanted to try and be life based initially because that's how i like to build my characters if they're capable of being life i would rather be a life based character at this point i just don't think it's worth it and uh, there's a good chance I'll be CI next time you see me. In any case, I think that's all for this character for now, guys. I do hope you um, enjoyed the little update and uh, look forward to the boss fights in the coming days. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.